my hello guys welcome back to my channel omun chafa please put a smile on my face by clicking that big red subscribe button and don't forget to comment like and subscribe share if you can so today i'm coming to you with a new segment to my channel i'm gonna call it the the good the bad and most comforting so i got a light bulb moment watching some videos on my subscription list and there was a trend studying from last week it's all about the todd shape uh concealer and foundation so i thought hey who's reviewing the reviewers hmm. so let me do it for you guys i'm gonna watch all the videos concerning the todd tape shape foundation then come back to you with an overall a uh, opinion of what i thought of the videos okay so let's go uh yeah let's get started i have my snack you can grab your snack too <laughs> uh, yeah oh one more thing i won't be using the videos in my video i'll just link them below for you to see them yourself um yeah i don't want to get as uh, people saying i'm using their content and stuff like that so yeah let's get started <laughs> Okay, before I share with you my overall thoughts, the gurus I watched, Jackie Aina, Patricia Bride, Ash Alisa Ashley, uh, Beauty by JJ, Jenny. So I decided to only watch four because I, I saw a trend. I feel like, because uh, I went and looked at the um, dates of the publishing of all the videos, whatever. So. The first video that came into my timeline with this whole Todd saga was Jackie Aina uh, featuring Alisa Ashley and she had her own video so I watched that after that uh, the following day then the next one I saw was Patricia Bright and right now I just watched um, Beauty by JJ on video so here's what I think uh, yeah everybody's not happy they're all on it's 2018 why should we be dealing with this saga of people not having enough shades for melanated people like me I, which i completely agree but i think uh by the, by the mere fact that they are actually reviewing and trying to work with the product it's sending a message that uh, you can go out and try your level best to mix the shades and make uh, something happen for you i reckon the best way they could have dealt with the um, whole situation is that they should have just swatched the product on their arm or face wherever and said no thank you todd yeah this doesn't work for us i will either donate this or i'll trash it that one it's up to you how you want to deal with products that don't work for you because some people buy them and some get them for free you know so some can afford to throw them away because they didn't even purchase them so anyway i believe in donating whatever so my overall thought is yes it's 2018 and if a product doesn't work for you there's no need to to be reviewing it uh having like a 10 15 minute uh video all about thought your video should have been at most one minute saying this is thought and this is what they did doesn't work for me so bye that's it nothing more don't try to put it on your face don't give them more air time than they need and one other thing that i'm not doing is that i'm not going to review the vi uh, the videos of people who are not as melanated as people like me because i feel like the the levels of disappointment are different uh you know historically uh being of a darker shade uh, ha comes with a lot of heavy burdens so i don't feel that uh the disappointment uh the people who are because i i get the feeling that not uh, this whole foundation doesn't really work for most people even caucasian people so um yeah i feel like yeah that's the levels of disappointment because for years and years and years people who are melanated like me haven't been uh, getting uh, 
products that are suited for them all the time people have to mix shades to get the perfect shade or whatever so yeah that's one of the reasons well not one of the reasons that's the main reason why i'm not going to touch that and yeah so we're gonna leave it there everybody's not happy but why did you review the whole thing by by putting it on your face you just reviewed it you should have just said yeah it doesn't match bye bye like have a, a one minute video not like a whole 50 minute video talking about how it doesn't work don't give them too much airtime. You just gave them like a 15 minute ten to 10 minute spot talking about how bad they are. Uh, no. Goodbye. Because you're not, you don't want to deal with me, I won't deal with you. And because you're not wanting to be part of my community, yeah, I won't be going around trying to be part of your community. So I won't be using your products anymore. That's it. If that's your viewpoint. Don't go in and in and in and in. Ugh, please, spare us. Okay. Anyway, that's my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Tell me what you think uh, about this whole Tarte Tate Shape Saga. Do you think people are overreacting? Or do you think, yeah, it's 2018. Tarte should know better, considering all the other brands that are coming out with heaps of sp of foundations on the spectrum mostly matching people and and they just come up with a product that's the like what's the excuse what's going on huh 2018 <laughs> thank you guys so much for sharing uh no for watching <laughs> please do share this video if you liked it don't forget to like comment uh, yes don't forget to click that big red subscribe button right here or is it here wherever. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>